Hello everybody, welcome to Coffee with Me and Jesus. Today we're going to be talking about waiting upon the Lord. And God has a way that we should wait, so I want to go into the Word and let's see what He says. Let's go right into Isaiah 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise God, everybody. There is this supernatural place, event that happens when we carry it out and wait upon the Lord because how many of us can mount up and fly like an eagle? I don't know of anybody humanly today that can fly, but yet the word of God says they will mount up and fly like eagles. And then the word of God says also they shall run and not be weary or tired. We have many athletes that can run and run and run and can go for a long, long time, but they eventually get tired. But the word of God says, you will run and not get tired. You will walk and not be faint. We can walk and walk and walk, but still we have a point within the human realm and humanness of us. We have uh, lines. We have uh, guidelines. We can only do so much. But God is saying through his word right now that we will supernaturally, after we have waited upon the Lord, we are going to go into this supernatural realm where they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. I felt so inclined to encourage the body today because I know that there's many, 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 many people that are waiting on God. They're, they have petitioned God and they're waiting for a physical healing. There are people who, who are financially lacking and they've waited and waited and they're still waiting on God. And there are just so many needs out there that people are waiting and waiting for God. But do not, do not go into this place that is in uh, Psalms 37, 7, that says, he tells us how to, to wait to rest. Sometimes we have to just rest and wait. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way or because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. So, uh, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So while you're waiting, people, don't get angry. Don't get discouraged. Don't get mad. Don't look at somebody else and think, well, why am I afflicted with this? And they're that. And they don't have to worry. And I am, you know, then we start questioning and we get ourselves into a whole different place. Today, this is a very, very, uh, fast-paced, chaotic world. It's, it, everybody wants instant, instant, instant. And I'm telling you people, we cannot have a relationship with God like that. There are times that we have to wait. And when you wait, you just sit there and you wait. You don't, you don't wait running here, doing this, running there, doing that. You just have to wait. Because when we don't wait on the Lord, we can step out and we can start doing of ourselves and trying to make things work ourselves or seeking the counsel of, of doctors when, when God has just told us, wait, 
Just wait, don't run to see this or run to see that. And I'm not anti-doctor because like I, I don't didn't say, but I went was late today because I had to go for an eye exam. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. The doctor could have given me one report and my faith is gonna give me a whole new report, people, because the word of God tells me that you know I can be healed by the blood of the lamb. By the blood of Jesus Christ, there's healing for me. And the word of God says, I have never seen a righteous man begging for bread, but yet sometimes we think that, or we are in financial um, struggles, but we have to hold on to the word. We have, to, we have to either be a people of faith or a people of the world. And again, here, you know, I go again with telling you, you know, life is black and white. You either are or you're not. You either believe or you don't believe. You cannot be wishy-washy. You can't say, well, I believe this part, but I don't believe that part. Because it's, it's not going to work. That, that will not work for you. But my message today, I want to stay on track, is about those that are waiting on God. Wait. The Word of God says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And their strength is going to come in a supernatural way. They are going to mount up with wings as eagles. They are going to run and not be weary. They are going to walk and not faint. So people, hold on to your, whatever your, your is betwixt you and God, and don't give up. Don't give up. And if it's sickness, get in there. Apply the word of God. Meditate on his word. Don't be running around to this doctor, that doctor, this doctor, that doctor. Get in his word and see what does the word say about sick sickness. If you are financially lacking, don't be trying to step it out on your own. Get in the word. God honors people that honor him. So get in the word. See what the word says about lack and witty ideas. The word of God says, I will give you witty ideas. Maybe, God, maybe you need to be still and let God tell you which direction to go. Maybe, I mean, he says he's going to give us his witty ideas. And anything, anything that you are, are, are wavering or in need of, let's get back, let's get our focus back into the word. Let's stop uh, running out there and uh, getting all confused and uh, chasing our tail. You know, our mind is so powerful, people. Our belief system is so powerful. You know, you can, let me give you a little example how powerful it is and how powerful words are that people that speak over you. You can be feeling, because this has happened to me, I can be feeling so good, just feeling on top of the world and go see somebody and they will tell me, my gosh, you look tired. Are you okay? You don't look well. And right away, I have just had the rug pulled out from underneath me. I run to the mirror and I look and then I think, hmm, I do look a little tired. As a matter of fact, I don't think I really feel good. See the power, the power that happens when we, we, uh, we allow wrong influence in our life. That's why go to the word, get empowered by the word. And that's why I'm saying, if you're waiting for something, this is what the Word of God says. It's going to give you a supernatural anointing if you wait. Just wait. Not everything has to be done like that. And when you wait, as in Psalms 37, it says, don't be angry. Don't look around and see and judge what other people have and what you don't have or why, why, why. You stand on what the Word of God says. Whatever your need is, there is a solution in the Word of God for it. But I am going to end today, and I probably won't be here tomorrow because I have a show I have to go to, but I would like very much to pray for you. So please, um, let's do what the Word of God says. 
and let's listen. Where there are two or three, there I am in the midst. And whatsoever you ask, I will give it to you. I Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God has so many things he wants to tell you about uh, coming together. Do not forsake the assembling together. And the assembling together is me and you. We're talking about the Lord. And when we do that, God imparts knowledge, imparts wisdom, and imparts understanding. And he will do what he said he's going to do. So, Father, there are needs out there. There are people. Father, I see people lined up, Lord, lines and lines and lines of people that are waiting on you, God. They're waiting. Well, Father, I pray for them right now, Lord, that they would really take time and bow before you and get themselves back into that place of solitude and quietness and stillness, Lord. And not only would they be put position themselves there, God, but they would encourage their own selves by being thankful for everything that you have given them in their life, Father, that they would reflect, God, on the hard times that they've gone through and how you pulled them out, Lord. Let them encourage themselves as King David. And I pray, Lord, that as soon as, because there's a lines and lines, God, but we still all get to go through there, God. We still all get to receive your promise that we will mount up with wings as eagles. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. So, Father, I pray for this supernatural, supernatural uh, anointing that you promised in your word to be released to your people, God. Release it now to your sons, your daughters, your children. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. People, have a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. I think we might have snow, and that will be wonderful for some of us and some of us not. But let's just enjoy whatever season we are in. Let's learn to be thankful. So have a blessed day. Sleep well. And remember, share me on your page and let the word of God go forth in purity and in truth. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.